I think we were talking about freedom, responsibility and relationship. And before we go any further, we thought we'd talk over together this question of order. What is order in freedom? As one observes all over the world, there is such extraordinary disorder. Oh, yes. Outwardly and inwardly. Mm. Uh, uh, one wonders why there is such disorder. You go to India and you see the streets filled with people. Popu- bursting with population. And you see also so many sects, so many gurus, so many teachers, so many contradictory lives, such misery. And you come to Europe, there is little more order, but you see when you penetrate the superficial order, there is the equal disorder. And you come to this country and you know what it is like better than I do. There is complete disorder. You may be <laughs> drive very carefully, but go behind the facade of so-called order, and you see chaos. Mm-hmm. Not only in personal relationship, but sexually, morally. In this, so much corruption. All governments are corrupt, some more, some less. But this whole phenomenon of disorder, how has it come about? Is it the fault of the religions that have said, do this and don't do that? And now they are revolting against all that. Yes, yes. Is it governments are so corrupt that nobody has any f- trust in governments? Is it uh, there is such corruption in business, nobody wants to look at it even? Any intelligent man, any man who is really serious, and you look at family life, there is such disorder. So taking the whole phenomenon of disorder, why is there such disorder? What has brought it about? Doesn't it appear that there is a sort of uh, necessary, uh, almost built-in progression in terms of the way we mentioned necessity earlier? Once order so conceived is superimposed upon an existing situation, not only does it not effect what is hoped for, but it creates a new situation which which we think requires a new approach. Of course. And the new approach is still the superimposition. Like the communists are doing in Russia and China, they have imposed order. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what they call order, on a disordered mind. Yes. And therefore there is a revolt, there is... So looking at all this, it's very interesting, looking at all this phenomenon of disorder, what is order then? Is order something imposed? order as in the military imp- on the soldier imposed order a discipline which is a conformity suppression imitation is order conformity not and in the sense if it's artificially imposed uh, yes in any sense If I conform mm-hmm. 
do an order, I am creating disorder. Yes, yes, I, I, I understand what you mean. In, in, our, in, in our use of the word conform, we, 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 we sometimes uh, mean by it a, a natural relation between the nature of a thing and the activities that are proper to it or belong to it. But then that use of the word conform is not the use that is usual and the one that we are concerned yes. in here. No. Yes. No. So is order conformity? Is order imitation? Is order acceptance? Obedience? Or because we have conformed, because we have obeyed, because we have accepted, we have created disorder. Mm -hmm. Because discipline, in the ordinary accepted sense of that word, is to conform. Yes, we, we, we say in English, don't we, to someone who who appears to be undisciplined, or who in fact is undisciplined, we say, straighten up. Straighten up, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, the, the images that we use to refer to that correction are always rigid, aren't they? Yes. Yes, yes. So that authority, whether the communist authority of the few, or the authority of the priest, or the authority of someone who says, I know and you don't know, that is one of the factors that has produced disorder. Mm -hmm. And one of the factors of this disorder is our lack of real culture. We are very sophisticated, we are very Civ so-called civilized, in the sense we are clean, we have bathrooms, we have better food and all that, but inwardly we are not cultured. We are no, not, no, no, we're no. not healthy, whole <coughs> human beings. The inner fragmentation spills out into our operations so, externally. Mm. So, unless we understand disorder, the nature of disorder, the structure of disorder, we can never find out what is order. Out of the understanding of disorder comes order. Not or first seek order and then impose that order on disorder.